AWO Brink here, uh, www.brinkzone.com. And uh, this is basically part two of a video I just put out, more or less talking about obese children and a sort of a real world story, a, a, a real story between a father and his daughter and how they or he went about making those changes. And this is uh, part two, and I wanted to cover this topic of picky eaters. Uh, a topic that I hear from parents all the time, or, you know, or more often than I'd like, is the topic of picky eaters. And I'm going to be honest with you, and I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to offend anybody here, but I'm probably going to offend somebody. I didn't know what a picky eater was till I was probably an adult. I had never heard of a picky eater, and I never met one. Uh, and the reason for that was it, it didn't exist uh, in my house. It didn't exist in a lot of houses when I was a kid. Um, basically, you ate what your mother put in front of you. And if you didn't like what your mother put in front of you, you didn't eat. Um, it was a great cure for picky eating. And I don't really understand where that changed somewhere along the lines of the parenting. But I do have friends with kids who are uh, led around by the nose by their kids, uh, who tell them what, what they're willing to eat and what they're not willing to eat. And I'm not sure where that, where that happened, uh, but I can tell you that if you allow your kids to dictate what it is they're willing to eat, you're screwed. Uh, you know, once that precedence is set, you're in trouble. And um, like you say, I say, because of the way I was brought up to eat what was put in front of me, I generally can eat anything, and I'm very appreciative when somebody's willing to make me a meal, and I'll eat it. Now, I might or may not like it, doesn't matter. It's food, it gets eaten. Now, that doesn't mean we don't all have our own personal taste, and of course, we're not talking about medical issues here. If your kid has an allergy or something like that, that's a different matter. However, I gotta tell you guys, uh, if your kid doesn't eat, it's not going to hurt them. I think maybe parents feel guilty or maybe they feel um, that it's going to do them some harm or something. If the kid goes to bed hungry, it's not going to harm them at all. It might even do them some good, um, you know, and they will learn uh, over time that uh, the food that's put in front of you is the food that you eat. And like I say, but once you allow them to dictate to you what they're, what they're willing to eat, um, like I say, you're behind the eight ball. I think some people will know that and agree and understand some people. Um, may not appreciate that, uh, and I hope, that, again, it's not looking to offend you, but uh, the whole idea of picky eaters uh, is honestly something of a new phenomenon in, in this world. Uh, I, 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 I'm going to go to an extreme example. You don't find picky eaters in places where people are starving, as an extreme example, I'm just saying. But uh, obviously we only have so much control over our kids and all that as far as to what they eat and where they eat, but again, we have to set the bar. Uh, you're the parent, you set the example, and the example is you eat what's put in front of you. And, I, and again, I hate to be harsh on this, but I, I'm telling you um, that the picky eater thing is sort of a pet peeve for me. It drives me a little bananas, to be honest, because I, I see people, friends of mine, smart, intelligent, professional people that are being led around uh, by their kids who dictate, you know. I even I see people who eat some food for them, and then they make one food for one kid and a different food for the other kid. Folks, uh, that is a, a trail, and, and, does that, and let me back up a little. You're not doing the kid any favors by doing that. You're not helping them. It will not help them as, in an adult. It will not teach them, obviously, uh, it, it, to be well-adjusted adults on a lot of levels, uh, including other areas, but this one in particular. So it's not like you're helping them by making them special meals and making them feel that they get to dictate. Uh, which food is put out. And a lot of this does come back to back to their health and their fitness and so on. Now, I'm not for uh, that old school stuff where you force a kid to sit there and eat. Uh, I was never forced to eat anything. The basic premise was, if you don't want it, you don't have to eat it, but there's not gonna be anything else. So you make your choices. And without, so it didn't become a big battle uh, to force me to eat anything. And, and I think that's, you know, that's the middle ground that can work. So. Hopefully you find this useful. Uh, if you do, please hit the subs and the likes, and I'll see you all on the break zone. And don't be a picky eater.